Hi there, Gina here. I have a new journal to share with you. Um, this is a journal for a friend, and it's a gift. Um, sorry, my chair is making noise. I'm trying to get sit down. Today is September 15th that I'm recording this, but you will not see this until September 24th. So, but I got to get it, you know, filmed and packaged up for her birthday. This is for Trisha. She is the owner and creator at Little Scraps of Heaven Designs.com. And um, Sarah, one of our admin there, decided to um, get us all together and make her gifts. And most people are sending cards and stuff, but um, I am blessed enough to live right here, right near her. So I'm just going to take it to her. We just live. I live in the country. She lives in town. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be for her birthday and um, since it's for her I have used a lot of her digital paper piecing patterns and her digital kits you know papers and stuff so we'll get started I used <laughs> I used a taco box I just went in my pantry and found a box and I covered it with this um, fabric her favorite color is turquoise so I found this fabric in my stash and I've got a little bit of batting in there and I've just got some lace. I had a little bit of trouble on my stitching, but she won't care. So, anyway, I'll open it up. Make sure I'm still where I'm supposed to be. Okay. So, on the inside, I lined it with um, some lightweight uh, denim I have that used to be capris. Um, I got them at the thrift store and then I put the pockets here for I just I had to put them sideways because they wouldn't fit up and down and then I uh, ironed on some birds I thought these were real pretty and they added to it so she's got some storage right there this is her pattern oh I should have made a list of patterns in the description when the video comes up I will have a list of all the patterns that I used um, I think this is bare in a pocket. I think that's what it is. So I just cut out the pattern and then I wrapped it with this denim. And I've used this trim throughout the book in places. It's just got a little, little um, tag there. It's kind of hard to get in and out. But he's just cute. So this is also one of her patterns. This comes in a paper piecing pattern or in digital. And I've just printed it out digitally. I need to put some glue there. And then it's a little pocket. The sunflower paper and the brown paper is also her digital patterns that I printed out. Her digital paper. Just a plain piece of um, oh, uh, resume paper. Whew. <laughs> I haven't made a video for a while. I'm a little not, I'm a little worse than usual. So I just did some stamping here and put friendship. Oh, it went to the back. I didn't even notice that. Okay, and then this page. This is a napkin that I've um, glued on. And then I made some pockets. This vellum has kind of a velvety fill. And then I just made a couple of tags. That one goes there. I put a little butterfly on that one, and it goes there. She likes bears. She has lots of bears in her um, designs. And so this is just a, this is out of a children's encyclopedia graph paper. Uh, this is just, I took some pages out of a devotion book I had and stuck them in here. And this is stuck. <laughs> uh, I lost my, somewhere on this dictionary page is like sea, seaside, all that. She loves going to the ocean. So that's, this is the side that's got all the sea stuff. So that's why I chose that. This is just a little children's book that I had, and it's all about bears. This has got bears, bears, and bears. There's a little family there. It's got a line paper. This is from an art book. And this is um, just drawings. This one folds up and out. And this is paper that I just recently dyed 
And I thought this looked like a whale's tail when it was done. So that's why I chose that one, because she loves to go to the ocean. I don't know, did I have you where you can see all that? I hope. I thought that was really cool. So I just folded it up. And then I put a sticker on there. And this backing paper kind of looked like scales to me. Mermaid tail. or And so that is also paper that I recently dyed. I used that. This is one of her designs that I just printed out. I didn't do the paper piecing, but you can get the pattern in a paper piecing pattern. And this is also her paper, this too. I just folded it up. I sewed two of the papers together and made a pocket. And then this is just an envelope, just a card. I got a little slit there hard for me to... I've been doing a lot of cleaning this past week and my fingernails are a mess. They're worse than usual. So I put some washi there and then just here's another pocket. And then on this side this is her pattern too. So put that on there and so this pocket has this one and then there's one here too. So there's two on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the other side of the art page. I wanted to leave a lot of this blank because I want her to be able to do her stuff. She also junk journals and so I didn't want to completely fill it up to where she can't put her touches in it. So more bears. Dictionary page. Seahorse. The devotional. And this one is just a pocket I made. This is from Illustrated Faith paper pack from them is what I use for this one. Oh, I'll go back in. This is the other side of the encyclopedia. It's the cutest one. It's got Disney characters all throughout it. And then I just made a tag. This is her pattern. It's a pinwheel pattern. I think it came with pinwheel bear. That's the thing about um, paper piecing patterns. You don't have to do the whole bear and everything. Just use the part that you need. You can use them over and over in so many ways. So this is her pattern also, her paper, and the stamp. And I just cut one of the sunflowers out and glued it on there and did some stamping on it. It comes blank. The center is white and then the outside plaid. And then I just decorated the inside. There's some cheesecloth back there. This banner comes with the kit. This is her pattern too. This is Spring Bird. And I've just got a little, this is some paper I dyed also. And then this does open. There's a clip here. But I don't have anything in there. Well, no, I do. Oh, I did. I made a little, with some of my paper. And this paper that this is all on is from a, uh, like an antique toy, you know, collectible book to tell you, show you about toys and prices and stuff. And I liked, I picked this one because it's got Trisha paper doll. So I've just done some collaging here on this one. And then this is her Viewmaster pattern and I just filled it with pictures from C catalog. Left the back blank. I just love these. And I loved collage. It's so relaxing. And she loves, another thing she loves is her little garden. So this is out of a garden book. This one's toy catalog with bear on it. More bears. Just a plain paper. I put a ribbon there. And then a fabric flip. Got a vintage button here. And this is out of my grandma's button box. So I gave her one of those. Sometimes it's hard to let loose of those. <laughs> this is from the encyclopedia too, and it had a bear. Oh, I forgot. I made a little um, slide. This was one of my grandparents' slides, but the picture wasn't any good. So I took it out and put the butterfly in there, the Tim Holtz. I've seen all kinds of people do that. I didn't come up with that one. <laughs> this one has a hidden paper clip here. Oh, it's stuck. 
My machine was going crazy, but I left it because I kind of like how it looks. It's got true friends, and then this is her pattern. That is actually the, it's actually this bird. So, i got to figure out where we were. This is where we are. So that's the little paper clip. And then here is the tag. And see my machine. I don't, I think it's because my bobbin was really thin um, thread, and then the other was upholstery. And I didn't really realize it until I was going along, but I just left it. I like it. Oh, and there's a, a pocket here. Just a tag. It really does go back on there. <laughs> okay, and then more of the art book. <laughs> this is about scrapbooking. This is from a children's book. I just cut it out and put it on here. This is Trisha's pattern, one of her digital papers. And then this is also one of her digital papers. Made some pockets there. And just put some cards. This is out of a... Oh, I meant to put a flower there where I messed that up. Let's see what I can find. This one, Ew, that's way too big. I may have to do this when I'm off camera. Because I think I'm going to have to dig. Hmm. That's probably what I'll put there, but I'll do that off camera so you don't have to sit there. And in the center I just put some heart punch outs. This one also has a um, project life card. This is from the book. Just a little tuck space. You can tuck something in there. This is the cutest storybook. I had a hard time cutting it up. <laughs> More of the Disney book. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Getting a back rub. <laughs> put some Tim Holtz. These were mirrored pieces, so I just put them on each side. Okay, in here, uh, later in the book, there's an envelope that I cut up to fit in here, and then this is the bottom part that I cut up. So I just did some collaging. I've got this fabric throughout the book. I made a tag to stick in there. So instead of throwing that away, I just stuck that in there. <laughs> I stamped on the fabric there. This is one of her patterns that I love. This is vintage cap, uh, vintage camper. Let's put a tag in here. Life is an amazing venture. More of the garden book. So now we're in the last signature. She loves to take photographs. So I thought that was a good page to stick in here. This is paper I dyed, and then I just printed it out. Then that's the same side. Here's the envelope, or I mean, this is another one that I dyed. I did. That's two of them. I've been having fun. <laughs> so this is the envelope. I cut it down and made it smaller, and then I just collaged on it. And I've got just a journaling card in there. Okay. And then this is her pattern. Mama and Cubs, I think is what that's called. I just put, made a little holdover card. That might be prettier if I do it that way, yeah. It would be. The art page. Uh, this is an embroidery uh, towel that I have that I scanned and printed out. I would like to learn how to share these with people, but... I don't understand all that. I mean, I get them scanned, but I don't know what to do after that. Just a little card. And I found this Brad in my 
stash it's got a dog on it so I thought that was cute because there's a little dog here and then this one I just made to look like a postcard and so that's such a pretty embroidery towel and for this one for this signature I made these little envelopes I have a little die cut and so I did that almost to the end there's the other side of those papers this is just a little frog that's a digital you can also get it in paper piecing and I just stuck some playing cards in here normally I would have done something with these but I want her to be able to alter them as she would like to have them they don't I didn't quite do that right they don't stay very well so she may want to move them on <laughs> now this page I wanted to make her an ATC coin for me so this is all kind of my style so um, this I took this fabric that it looks like this first I scanned it and I printed it just the fabric it's so pretty it's it's quite old not quite old but I'd say it's from the 40s or 50s and then I have this lace that I've been using it's right here and I laid that down on my scanner bed and then I laid this fabric over it and scanned it and printed it out and I thought that came out really cool and then I made a pocket for the ATC I did this one kind of diagonal and again I don't know who I saw somebody make this a while back not my idea to do the pocket but I love the idea thank you to whoever made it if it's you and you somehow see my video please please let us know so I just uh, cut out of a sewing book that I have this apron and put it on there and then I cut her out button and um, I think that's like hook, hook and loop thing. I put the other end of it right there with the little bull clip there or bull pin there. Put a button and then I've just got it. Happy birthday Trisha. And she just goes in there. And then the little journaling part slipped right there. And this is also the lace that I used to scan for this. And then here's the back. So we're all done. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked my book. If you did, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. That would be fun. And also if you'd subscribed if you aren't a subscriber. I hope you all have a great day and a good week. Bye.